There we go, Amherst Madison. Hey everybody, I can see everybody watching. And I'm here with Will. Okay, help me out. Laverty. Okay, hi Will. Okay, hi. so I practiced Laverty like a million times and I just don't want to butcher it. So, um, Will, will you tell me a little bit about Hubble and, and where we're at right now? Because this is a, a, a model home. It has a lot of bells and whistles and some features. And let's just walk through the house first yeah, and, and then okay. you can tell me about everything. Sure. All right, sounds good. Do you want me to talk as we're walking? Sure, right. go ahead. So, uh, as... Um, let's start at the front door yeah. and then we'll walk in. So, I'm going to back up. All right. I love going live. If I trip and fall, you guys can make fun of me. Okay, so this is the entrance to the home. Oh, I did back into the door. Down the door. <laughs> okay. And what's the square footage of this one? So this one is the birch. It's 1,627 square feet. It's a single level home, three bedroom, two bath. It does have... Um, it does have some good separation between the uh, secondary bedrooms and the master bedroom. Uh, this particular home in Meridian in the community of White Acres with the upgrades that uh, the builder put in the home should be right around the 285 range, so well below the 300 range. That's important because I have a lot of um, first time home buyers, people who are looking to come here and retire. They don't want to spend a fortune, so it's nice to have a 300 or below price range. And this is a fabulous development. And they've done all the bells and whistles. You guys, you've seen my very, very, very expensive homes up to a million dollars where they put quartz. And this is the same quartz that they have in those homes. And with tile flooring, let me just get you also on here on the laminate. Okay, let's go in here. Okay. Okay, let's back up now. And wait, you guys have to stay too for this presentation because Will and I are going to talk about um, what the base price is to get into these homes. We're going to talk about the developments. And oh, and get this, guys. They can do a mother in law quarters as well. This is a washer and dryer area. So when you walk in from the garage, which is now their showroom, so I just walked in from the garage, they have a mud room. Well, and then there's your washer and dryer. You come back into the hallway. And, uh, oh, I love these doors. Door. Yeah, they put a barn door in this one. So this house has some pretty nice upgraded features, and it's still under 300. Okay, and also again the quartz countertops. We can do um, gas ranges. We have a lot of folks coming up from out of state that want the gas. Uh, we have gourmet kitchen options where you have the double oven built into the wall. And then a gas cooktop. We can obviously do, do stainless steel appliances, uh, undermount sinks with a single basin. That's been really popular. And then this is actually one of our smaller islands with a lot of our single level homes that are 1,888 square feet up to you know 2,300 square feet on a single story. Uh, the islands would increase another uh, you know 60 to 100 inches there, so pretty good size islands. Oh yeah, I do remember that. And you can make them one level as well, too. So for extra seating. Um, I did see that, though. It's a great idea. Okay, and then here's the living room. Let's go into the master. Oh, and they vaulted the ceilings here. Vaulted ceilings, very affordable. This home came with uh, eight foot ceilings, but we could also do a nine foot ceiling in the hallways, the Step bedrooms. Right uh, and then that would elevate obviously the living room another foot as well. So we can combine the nine foot ceilings with the vaulted ceiling. And then with that option, oftentimes we get a tray ceiling in the uh, master bedroom that would be included in that upgrade as well. Oh, that's awesome. And, and this is just single story. We can also do a double, a two story in here where you walk in. I call them cathedral ceilings where you walk in and the house is two stories high, you know what I mean? The opening for the living room, I love that. Another barn door here. Oh, I love this floor. This is awesome. Yeah, this is one of our many tile options. We, uh, these are the planks that we can put in, and they also have tile floors now that, as, as I know, I'm sure you're aware, that uh, look like uh, wood, wood floors. I didn't even realize this is tile, so these are really long planks. That's nice. 
so you don't have the little basic squares. Mm -hmm. and then our standard uh, would be a tub shower combo, but in this particular home, uh, we upgraded to the five foot all tile walk in with the uh, keystone tile. That's been a very popular feature, especially for folks that don't want to have to step into a tub to take a shower that has that low threshold. Yeah, and also you have the option of doing a walk around shower as well, right? We do. We have a, uh, a full tile walk in shower where there's a little drainage area. You step so in. This wall comes out. Mm -hmm. And then there, there wouldn't be any and glass walk in. at all. Yeah, so this wall here comes out, goes across. And then there's an opening, you walk in and go around so you don't have the Essentially the where this door is right here, you would walk in and then oh, have a dry okay. off area and then turn the corner to get into the shower itself. A lot of people like that option. And then the master closet. Okay. This is a nice one. Very nice. I'm the, these are the lower height vanities, but now the builder has switched to where all of the cabinets and the bathrooms are the upper, the, the taller height. So they're going to have the, another four inches of height on there. I have Can't to see. show this backsplash. It's so cool. It, it looks like glass. Um, also, what was I going to say? Um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. These all have the slow close drawers too. So they'll they'll close on their own for you. The doors and the drawers and the knobs and poles come included with the cabinets as well. We have four different colors of stain that you can choose from or you can upgrade to the um, the painted cabinets as well. Yeah. Which is what you're seeing here. And what was the price of this house for everybody that's just joining again? So this one would be right in that 285 range with all the upgrades that you're seeing currently in the home. Well, yeah, this is all bells and whistles. This has everything. So, so let's say Let's talk. Let's sit down and talk for a minute about um, the price range. So you're in two locations currently, right? Yeah, uh, Humble Homes in general has homes available in um, Mountain Home, Boise, Meridian, Cuna, Middleton, uh, Star, Caldwell, and Nampa. Prices are going to start in the in a couple of our newer communities in Caldwell. Uh, prices will start as low as uh, under the 160 mark. 160. 160. That's uh, home and home site, uh, and then any upgrades you want to do in addition to that. So those are two brand new communities that are just coming on. Um, in Meridian, we're right in that uh, 225 range for a single level, three bedroom, two bath, 1400 square foot Alturas. And then in Star, which is a community nestled uh, about seven miles outside of Eagle, you're looking at about uh, $199 for that same house. And Star is really nice. So for people who haven't been to Star, as we're talking, I'm just showing you the house. <laughs> we're not fixated on one or the other. So in Star, um, from Meridian itself, I think it took me like 15 minutes to get there. So when I say it's more rural, I don't, I know you guys are thinking rural like an hour and a half out of town, but it's literally 15 minutes. And the price point there is phenomenal. Because like we were saying, what what was it again for the starter on In that star one? star at uh, 199 199 And it's an up and coming, moving um, town, big time. I take people out there all the time. And one thing I'd like to mention there, we do have some communities currently that uh, for a limited time, uh, we're offering a $10,000 promotion in and that's for homes that we build from scratch So you pick the home site you pick the floor plan you pick your upgrades uh, And the builder will then give you a $10,000 promotion. That's going to be $5,000 in closing costs $5,000 credit in the design studio. Oh, I forgot about the special you guys are running. Yeah, that's pretty awesome So That's been pretty popular. So um, this special is limited time. I know it's the end of the year and Let's say someone wants to take advantage of this um, special that you have going and they want to do a new build. Right. How much do they have to put down to reserve that lot? Yeah, so it's not one of those situations where you have to go and get a construction loan or anything difficult like that. Uh, we're going to have you pick your home site, pick the floor plan that you want. We'll go through the structural features with you to find out what's important to you. But at the end of the day, we're only going to ask you for a thousand dollar deposit with your contract. And then once you go to showroom, let's say, if you stay under 15% uh, uh, upgrades, base price to upgrades, then we're not going to ask you for any additional funds. It's just going to be that $1,000 deposit. 
and then when the home is done in you know seven mm -hmm. seconds, we will uh, you'll just close on the home as if it was just a standard home at that point. Oh, I was just told there's no sound on my video. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Somebody type in there and say, yes, we can hear you. Shoot. Let me see something. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so I was told that we were having a hard time people hearing me. So if you can't hear me, can you text me and let me know? Um, so let, let, we can keep going. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the deposits. Yeah. Um, so it's a thousand dollar deposit to get the build going. And just so you know, um, a lot of people get afraid of new construction. And I want to debunk that now because as an investor for 12 years, that's pretty much all I did. I would go put my thousand dollars down and it was awesome because I got to pick out all my features and do all this stuff. And there is no new construction loan in this particular mm -hmm. situation. And the reason be oh thanks guys okay and the reason being for this is like that thousand dollars down and you also have to prove that you can qualify for this certain price point and we will work out those price points with your upgrades up front so your lender actually knows what the price is to qualify you for and um so this is exactly like walking into an existing home and buying it from a homeowner. You're just buying it from Hubble Homes. And, but it's, no one's ever lived in it. You get to pick your own features. And I do this a lot with a lot of the people um, that come here to visit because we just can't find the right home. And especially like this mother-in-law quarters that we're about to talk about, it's a new floor plan that they just designed and it's phenomenal and it's a great idea. And um, we're also going to touch on that too. But okay, so let me let me get close on this. So okay. here's the floor plan, and here's what they're doing for you. Yeah. So this is uh, called the Fremont floor plan. It's a single level, about 2,240 square feet. Uh, what we offer on this one is because we have had a lot of clients come in and uh, state that you know mom is coming to stay with them, live with them, maybe dad might be staying with them for a little while. So they want a second master bedroom option. So what uh, the builder has come up with is something that we call the next generation space. And um, basically it changes this section of the home right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. So standard, we build this floor plan with uh, three bedrooms and a full uh, bathroom here and then a flex space here uh, just on the other side of the kitchen. Let me ask, I just got a no sound. Can you guys hear us? All good now. Okay, so what, what Will was saying is, I think you got cut out, is that what they are doing is they're taking this lower section right here and they're changing it up. And also keep in mind, thanks guys for letting me know, um, keep in mind also that if you have a teenager going to BSU, um, this is a great idea because the dorms are going to cost you almost as much as doing a new build. I mean, you can turn around, flip this home down the road, or if you're retiring, you come and live in here. But if you have a BSU student, you let them live in this unit. Um, if you're there or not there, or if you're going to sell it later, just giving you some thoughts. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're turning that front bedroom into a guest living space. It includes upper and lower cabinets here, a sink. And I believe uh, it actually has a little mini fridge underneath the counter there as well. Now they're going to have their own individual bathroom, uh, a bedroom here, and then a separate entrance into the house, into the guest uh, living space. So if they were to lock this door here, for instance, they would have a living room, their own bathroom, and then a bedroom. And then we're going to add another bathroom over here for this bedroom and this bedroom to share. So now grandma has her own space uh, there and then she could easily just go through the hallway into the kitchen back to where we were before so she could just walk down the hall and then she'd have the kitchen uh, great room etc and then the master would be offset in the back corner for a little bit of separation oh that's a really good idea so going away I have a question because I have people that like to VRBO or Airbnb so you're saying that this actually could be two bedrooms or it could be a living room and 
a bedroom. Yeah, standard we build it as a bedroom down here but without the separate entrance. It's when we go into the next generation space that we add the separate uh, access to that living space. I guess you could use that as a bedroom if you want. It just doesn't have a closet in it. Yeah, we could put yeah. an armoire in there and make it two bedrooms. You could. Now, uh, you might be wondering what the cost of something like that is. To go to the guest living with the extra bathroom, the extra bedroom, etc., you're only talking $4,950 for that. Oh, to make that conversion. entire change out? Yeah. And this is a big floor plan, right? Isn't this is. over 2,000 square feet? It's about 2,250 square feet. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then, um, and then of course, with upgrades, you know, what, what did you say the price is without the mother-in-law quarters? Um, so let's see if I wrote Do we that remember? One down. We well, have, uh, we wrote down the Hickory floor plan. So just to kind of give you a range of prices in the Meridian area, you're going from about 225 for a single level, 1400 square foot, uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, so our most expensive home is the Hickory floor plan, which is 2,871 square feet. That has up to five bedrooms, depending on if you want a loft or not. And that home is going to run about 295 in Meridian. If you were to build that same home in Star, you'd be looking at about 278. So there's about a $20,000 difference from Star to Meridian. So let's let's take this up a notch then. Let's go for the bigger house at 2,800 square foot. Um, you're saying that the base price here is two two ninety five. That includes the home site. Okay, and so then if we put bells and whistles, we're still going to stay under three thirty, really, 330. right? And both of those communities currently have that ten k promo going. Oh, I so forgot you about get that. Five k closing costs and five thousand in the design studio. So, oh wow, so that so we're even subtracting that, and that's if they start putting their deposits down before the end of the year or this month or. Yeah, at the end of the month for now, it could extend into December. We're not quite sure yet. Oh, I do have some clients that are listening right now that are coming out this month. So um, if they want to come see you, I'll make sure that we come over here and talk to you about this. And then we also have, Denise, we also have some homes, um, some inventory homes. These are homes that we uh, are currently building or are completed that uh, weren't necessarily built with anyone in mind, just folks that may be on a little tighter uh, time frame. So these are homes that, uh, depending on where they're at in construction, you know, we can uh, sell and close in 30 days or less. So we do have some options there as well, and those are kind of littered throughout our uh, communities. Um, some of those homes, up to about 20 of those, actually currently have a $10,000 promotion going on them as well uh, for folks that are looking for something to close by the end of the year. And that would be $5,000 in closing costs and five thousand dollars in an RC Willie gift card. Ooh, RC Willies! Just so you guys know, that's where we get our um, washer, dryer, refrigerator, all that good place. Window coverings, that type of thing. Yeah. So let me ask a question. I have people that want to come out in April okay. or May. So if we start a new construction, we get the promo now. We get the ten grand promo, and they can move in in April or May. And they don't have to pay for the house until April or May. Right. So if we were to contract this month, let's say, put their $1,000 down, they choose their home site, choose their floor plan, it's going to take us about seven and a half months to build that home. So we're looking about the end of June right now for the completion of the home. But they would just put down, in most cases, that $1,000 earnest money. And then they wouldn't have any other liabilities, any other money that they needed to come up with until the home was actually ready to close. Yeah, so I would just have them talk to a lender here locally to see if they could um, buy contingent upon selling their home. That's a question I have for you that I know they're going to ask you. Um, let's say they have a home in Las Vegas and they're trying to sell it and it should be sold, say, January, February. They're assuming um, we go to a lender, we get a contingent contract offer to you. Mm -hmm. What do you guys accept the contingent contracts? So currently the builder is accepting up to two weeks, 10 business days on a contingency. Uh, so that gives them two weeks to get their house on the market and just get an offer pending on their existing house. Okay. And then that we would accept that contingent offer in that situation. What most, most folks are doing is if they have a lot of equity in their home, mm -hmm. they can get a bank to um, do like a home equity line of credit. Uh, some buyers that we had come in yesterday had some funds in a 401k. Uh, they're just showing us funds in their 401k that they could use to purchase the house if they wanted to. That's not really their intent, 
but that would satisfy the contingency for the builder of uh, having proof of funds. Oh, I just had a, uh, a client that was going to do that with his 401k and take the loan out on the 401k yeah. and it worked. And then we didn't even have to be contingent in that situation. Right. And these buyers that came in yesterday, what they're planning on doing is they're not planning on putting their home on the market until let's say April, but they can show us proof of funds that they have money in a 401k. Should their house not sell, they could go back and use those funds. But their intention is just to use uh, the money from the sale of their home in California to purchase uh, pay cash for the house here. And so what happens if within that two weeks they they don't sell their house? Do they get their earnest money their back? Their earnest money is uh, refundable up until, that, up until the time that we re either receive a letter of loan approval or cash proceeds, uh, proof of cash proceeds in an account. Oh, this is really good. So people are no risk, no risk to them in that situation. Okay, people are loving this information because these are questions they're going to ask you. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people are in the situation where they're not ready to move right now. They're trying to sell their house, right. and if they're having to wait for a build, now your build times are anywhere between. I'm. Um, uh, I think you had a couple that were spec'd and ready to sell mm -hmm. all the way to seven and a half weeks. Right. So we have some homes that are currently completed, ready for move in, you know, on a cash deal, we can close on those in a week. Uh, wow. on a finance deal, you know, 30 to 45 days. It's just really a matter of how quickly the appraiser can get out there and, you know, and get the evaluation done. Um, and then we have homes that, for instance, I just took a walk down the, uh, down the community today. We have four or five homes that are currently under construction right now that will be done in 90 days or less. Uh, that already have all the options and everything chosen on them. We can give you a firm price on what that home would run. I can show you the cabinet colors, the flooring colors, everything that's been selected. Uh, and then uh, you can decide if that's the right fit for you. Oh, geez, you got a lot of options. So we've got everything from single... My hand is getting weak. <laughs> let me switch. we got everything from... Let me, let me also show the map here where they are... Um, let's see. Let's put it over here. So we have everything, it looks like, from... Single story homes to two story homes, price points that range from two hundred up to three thirty. Even as low as one under one sixty if you go Canyon County to the Caldwell Nampa area. I'm not sure I want to take them out there. No, I'm okay. kidding. I will. <laughs> Just a little more drive time. Okay, so where are we right now? So we're number ten right here in White's Acres. And then we have a community just to the north of us here, Amber Wave. We have one home left in Amber Wave. It's a single level, 1,573 square foot home with upgrades. It's uh, being listed at 214,990. And then we have Casa Bella here, number eight. Uh, we have one home left in there. It's a uh, Cypress floor plan, about 2,200 square feet, master bedroom down, den down, and then two bedrooms and a full bathroom and a loft upstairs. That one is priced at 287. Uh, those are both with upgrades. This one's actually completed and ready to close. Uh, and then we go up to star number seven here. That's the Alderbrook community that we've been talking about. Which is 15 minutes from Meridian. Just so yeah. you guys get some perspective from here to here is like 15 minutes. Yeah. And then we've got downtown Boise right here. So that's another 15 minutes depending on traffic. Yeah. So BSU, depending on traffic, could be between 15 and 20 minutes. So you can see every this is centrally located. That's why I'm talking to Will here. In Meridian because this is a great investment it's a great place to live and that's what we wanted to point out and then do you have anything going on in Kuna right now yeah in Kuna we have a, a brand new community <laughs> a, a new phase in a community called Greyhawk and uh, prices in Greyhawk are going to be about the same as in uh, Star they're about twenty thousand dollars less than Meridian and it's not the house that's changing in this situation the home would be identical. It's just the land doesn't cost as much in Cuna or Star as it does in Meridian. And so that's why the price is lower. Yeah, that, that's true. All, all up in here, the land is so much um, more affordable. And then over here, we go into Nampa area. Same, same story up there. The further you get from Boise and go out usually is how um, the price of the land goes. But it's yeah. the same build, same house. It is. And then if for folks that want a little bit more land, we have a lot of folks coming in from out of state that, you know, maybe they want a quarter of an acre or a third of an acre, that type oh, yeah, of thing. Oh, yeah, totally. And, and so in one of our Middleton communities, it's called the Crossings. We do have some uh, home sites out there that would be a quarter to a third of an acre. And they allow shops out there and that type of thing. So for people that just want a little more separation, a little more land, 
uh, you know, Middleton might be a good fit for him. And, you know, I've been out to Middleton. I've timed it um, from Middleton to the airport was 35 minutes. So it's, it's not a huge, um, just so you guys know, that's never been here. It's not too far out. Yeah. So to have a quarter of an acre and, and up is really nice. Yeah. And then we do have some community, uh, community and mountain home. That's an Air Force base out there. Uh, and uh, so that's out there for the folks that want to be close to the Air Force Base. Um, I think one of the one of the major reasons why people are coming to um, the Meridian area is just quality of life. Uh, there's a lot of recreation opportunities out here. You yeah. know, we have Bogus Space and Ski Resort within what 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Sun Valley's uh, not that far away. We have McCall, um, you know, with Payette Lake up there. There's a lot of uh, hiking trails, uh, mountain bike trails. Uh, just a ton of recreation, uh, fishing, hunting, pretty much anything you're looking for is, is within really a couple hours of here. See, guys, I've been preaching this for a long time. Every time you guys see me on here, I tell you, why did you and Joe move there? Because he likes to hunt and fish. I know he's listening right now. Mm -hmm. And he tells me that's not the reason. But it really is, you guys. It's just a, it's a, it's a slower pace, and yet you have all your culture. You have your community. You have everything that you have where you're at now. It's just a better way of life and living. And that's, that's why I do these presentations to get people to know about what's out there. So, well, um, thank you. If there's anything else you yeah, can think I of. Mean, any questions that they have, uh, I don't know if uh, you know they can direct them through you. I'm happy to send folks any floor plans, any upgrades menus, mm -hmm. uh, plat maps that show available home sites in whatever community they're most interested in. Um, so, uh, and we also have, uh, that I can make available to you, Denise, is we have 3D tours available as well oh. on most of our floor plans. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with those, it's uh, you just click on the link and you can virtually walk through the house with your mouse, uh, just clicking whatever room you want to go to. You can enlarge uh, any spaces that you want to see any detail in, but it's it's literally like you're in the home just on your computer. Yeah, then I don't have to walk through with you guys. <laughs> and they can look at them as often as they want. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Take them outside and show them the front of the house. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful out out here so let's do this and it's a nice sunny day over here in Meridian so let's check out the um, elevation of this one and remember there's different elevations so not only do you get to pick all your details inside you get to pick the elevation on the outside all right now keep in mind right now this is their sales office so what you're seeing over here oh is this going to be a a three car this would be a three car garage when we convert it back yes oh yeah and i forgot to tell you guys they can do three car garages tandem um or just like this one it's not it's just regular yeah and a lot of folks in the area either have boats or rvs campers you know four wheelers that type of thing so depending on the home site you choose if we have an extra 10 to 15 feet we can do a concrete pad on the side of your garage for you uh, and that would enable you to store a boat or an RV etc on the side of your home instead of having to take it to a storage place oh that that's really nice oh yeah that's very nice and this is the development that we're in right now that is the new build that we're talking about I'm gonna hit you with the Sun sorry about that guys there happens to be available lot right across the street. Is that still available, Will? Uh, I think we might have sold that one yesterday. Oh, they sell these yeah. houses so fast. But we do have one over here. Uh, that one should be coming up today. And uh, that might be a really special deal. If they uh, if they leave the pricing where it was, uh, that could be about $20,000 lower than any other home site in this community. Twenty grand less? Yeah. Well, that'll work. Wow. All right. All right. So if anybody has any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Area code 208-789-4320. Yeah, and I don't know if you want to direct them to the website too, but if you point on the camera right there. No, not so much. Let's have you go through Denise. <laughs> yeah, let's have you go through Denise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Denise, you're a realtor. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you so much, Will, um, for doing this interview and your time and all of this information, which is completely beneficial for you. So I wanted to thank yeah, you. Thank you. Nice to meet you all virtually, and we look forward to uh, visiting with you in Idaho soon. Yeah, I'll be bringing them in. Thank you. All right, you guys have a fabulous Veterans Weekend, and thank you for everybody out there that has served.